And welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with a new series that I'm thinking of starting. This is um, th that's me right there. I'm th I'm the blue one right there. This is actually from the new patch 1.3. Um, this is the fun or not random map thing. If you guys aren't using that, you really should. It's a lot of fun. I'm playing this game right here. This is called Stack That Cannon Defense. Hope I got that name right. This is actually a fun little map we got here. Basically, you are this bro. And it's a it's a tower defense game, you know. Uh, we'll have zerglings uh, spawning from actually both sides here. Um, as you can see, some guys figured out how to get kills very early on. Um, not exactly sure how to really show off exactly. You know what? Screw it. You'll just have to take my word for it. Oh, sorry if I'm still sounding a little bit sick. Sorry, I had to cough there. Um, this is, as you can see, I've actually picked one of the worst positions in the game between these players over here. There's tons of room over here. Uh, you want to get as close to the spawning area as possible um, with all your all your guys. As you can see, I finally learned that there. But then, no. Orange cannon blocks me. Um, I, I started off real slow in this game. Um, I'm typically pretty good at tower defense games, but I, I, this was so new to me. I had no idea what was going on. Um, the spine colony. I stared at damn near the entire game. The spine crawlers don't seem to do anything on the tower defense maps, but they seem to get kills. What do you want me to say? Uh, so this is a pretty fun game. And I would recommend it. Let's actually speed this up because this is a, a pretty long game. Um, so, uh, like I said before, you know, I, I'm not abandoning StarCraft. Trying to do some new st stuff with it. Trying to show off a different size of, of StarCraft 2 other than the 1 versus 1 ladder. Which can get quite boring. Even though they did implement new maps. Um, especially since I've been sick. Uh, I have not been playing my best. I think I played one 1v1 one one, and I just looked at myself and I'm like, I, I can't play right now. So, been uh, hanging out with the, with the custom maps, some 2v2s I got in. I got some random. They put me in the gold league, I believe. Um, I was thinking about doing the 3v3 and the 4v4 placements. Han Solo left the game. Well, there he went. And all his stuff left. I, I don't know if his computer couldn't handle it. It didn't seem like it was going that slow. Um, but yeah, then they start spawning mutas. I mean, all sorts of zerglings are starting to come out. And who would have guessed overlords would be like the big tank of like the whole thing. And yes, Colossus can hit air, apparently. So I'm getting the missile turrets once I saw those... Um, once I saw those mutalists come out. But... Then the miss missile turrets spend most of the time attacking ground because this is a custom map, you know, and crazy stuff happens. I get out my immortal. Um, one thing that I would recommend in this game, in this map, is some kind of upgrade system on each on each tower, building, whatever you want to call it, because really all you can do is end up just spam. Um, whatever building you got. That's pretty much all you can do. Yeah, see, look. He does nothing, but he's still racking up the kills. Look, he just got three kills right there. Did you see him do a damn thing? No. No, you didn't. I do finally get my Colossus out. I was a little slow on the uptake, but once I really got the hang of this, I really started picking up, and we got a mama ship out. Look at that, baby. And I have to say something. You can't just be like, he got the best thing in the game. You have to comment on that. Oh, look at that thing. Yeah, um, it does show the kills on here. I really wish it would on the replay. Uh, this is about the time when I started taking over in the kills because I, you know, I had all these up in front next to the spawning pool. Nobody was ahead of me. 
Uh, this wasn't getting very many kills, so I, these guys were cleaning all that up, you know. These things kind of suck towards the end now. I'm starting to get the level upgrades, the, the weapons upgrades, and the carriers out. Just so much going on in this game. The only thing, yeah, the, there's only a couple things I would say. Uh, we need more upgrades, and honestly, I don't know how this is possible with the map editor, but this game was insanely easy. Um, considering that there were one, two, three, four, five, I believe five of us. You know, there weren't even the full amount one guy had left really early on, and we still absolutely crushed it. I think at it, when we started, we had 100 lives. At the end, we had 94, and this was all of our first time playing the game. So, yeah, just random mayhem, you guys. I love this. Um, but if you were, once again, if you were to play this by yourself, you'd be absolutely screwed. So I don't think there's a way for the AI to to counteract that. I do finally get the, the spore crawlers out because they seem to be doing, like, poison damage. So I wanted to get them up early and often. We have a Nidus Worm out. I don't think I saw that. Otherwise, I would have put something over here to try to take that out. Genshi Ken might have saw that. But yeah, you know, it was about this time here that it started getting kind of boring. Everybody kind of started getting the highest level equipment. Um, I don't think I did. I was still kind of spamming, um, you know, Colossus, Thors, um, the, the Ares. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's spazzing the fuck out over there. Um, but I mean, look, um, Genshi Ken's actually got two motherships. Um, pretty much nothing's making it past this middle part here. There we go, there's my carrier. It doesn't actually get any kills, but it was definitely, you know, the interceptors are like little suicide bombers, kamikaze pilots. Sorry, I had to cough again. But yeah, this was a, this was a fun map. If you can get a players together, um, you know, relatively low. Um, low APM needed. I mean, look at that. He's d he's going absolutely nuts. I don't know what he's doing, to be honest with you. And I mean, you got mama ships and, you know, uh, intergalactic ram ships just hanging out doing nothing. Uh, battle cruisers, they do get massive amounts of kills. And see, look, I mean, you got this whole room here in the middle with absolutely nothing going down, and we're short a player. There's no reason... Um, that it should be this easy. Uh, that's my only comment on it. Um, but then again, maybe he had designed it for four to six players so that if you actually did only get uh, four players in the game, it would, uh, wouldn't would hamper you too much and you'd still be able to win. Um, he did actually recommend that if your computer can handle it because as you can see, there's a ton of sprites on the screen. Uh, my computer can obviously handle it no problem. Um, actually, the internet's the slowest thing about it. This is actually moving a lot faster than um, than what it was in game. Not only because I have it on the fastest setting, um, he actually recommended that you leave the game. So uh, the, the map creator did in the little loading screen. So obviously, he didn't have a concern about uh, difficulty if uh, one player had left, as opposed to let's say a Dota map, which. I have yet to finish, legitimately, a Dota game. Um, I've tried. I, I suck at Dota, I'll be honest. I am not good at Dota. But every time I try to play, one person rage quits, and then his whole team just flees like, a, like nobody's business. You know, all of a sudden, everybody's gone. And it's down to like four versus one, and the one guy's like, fuck it, I leave. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, so it's no fun, if, especially if that happens at like the five minute mark. You know. And there's really no way around that. So, if I do finally get a Dota game up, I'll probably broadcast it if it's good. And, um, yeah, he was actually paying attention. <laughs> uh, there's actually a time limit on there. I didn't actually see that the entire game. Um, yeah, I'm the last one to leave, it looks like. Oh, nope, nope, green, green stayed. 
So yeah, this was a fun map. Uh, once again, Stack That Cannon Defense, I believe it's called. Uh, if you guys want to just have a quick, easy game, uh, feel free to look that up. Pretty simple, pretty basic. You want to be around, you know, around the spawn location, not too far in. You know, right about here is perfect. That's where I put all my big guys, um, right on this side here. I think I even went to the other side. Yeah, I got an Ares up over there, Thor up over there. Of course, um, I, you know, it's hard to explain the tech tree. I believe it goes photon cannons, missile turrets, uh, spine colony spore crawlers, um, then, then Thors, then battleships, and then mom motherships, and then, um, oh, Colossus are more expensive than the Thors, I believe. No, the Thors are actually more expensive than the Colossus. I, I didn't understand that. These guys don't do splash damage. This guy does. So I didn't understand that one. Um, carriers and Ares are actually bought with uh, gas. I ended up spamming those once I got all the the upgrades. As you can see, these are up to five. So, I mean, look, th this guy does 25 damage, as uh, so this one does 20, 25, 15, and 30. But it does eight attacks. <laughs> this guy. Oh no, he doesn't. He never got any upgrades. Where's my upgrade guy? Oh, these guys don't get upgrades, but this does 25 damage, 50 damage. Once again, you know, a few problems with the upgrades, a few problems with the difficulty level. Otherwise, it's a great map. Check it out if you got if this is your style. And, you know, you kind of want an intro. This is relatively e easy. I've seen a lot harder out there. Trust me. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, let me know if you want to keep the, the Fun or Not series going. Uh, basically, it's going to be me playing random maps that are fun on a uh, fun or not or particularly bad maps I'd love to show you guys some of those but you know most of them weren't that bad they were just kind of uh, designed you know one major flaw uh, but this one you know I thought was fun just admire glitches here and there admire hitches I should say not glitches uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this I uh, hope you laughed hope you learned hope to see you next time thanks for watching